Four of them. They beat 1,200 players all on their own? Enough. This ends now. story rings a bell. It may just be an urban legend, but I assure you it's a good one. There exists a band of anonymous players, gamers who obliterate anyone who comes to face them. Reaching scores never achieved before or since in every game they play, their win records are flawless. Since their usernames are always left empty, they are simply known to people as blank. And according to every player who has encountered them, they are indeed unbeatable. Cheaters? You think that's how they keep winning? Yeah, I'm sure of it. It's gotta be just a lousy group of hackers. Come on, there's no way they could be 1,200 people with just the four of them. Auto-aimers and wall hacks, hitbox manipulation. They gotta be cheating. Oh, do they? And here I thought cheating was our expertise. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to cast so many spells like that. I don't know. This is different. But Blank dodged them anyway. They already knew I was cheating to cast consecutive spells before I even did it. They're amazing. They're like super geniuses or something. You think maybe they go out with me? Oh, God. <laughs> and so the rumors spread with their infamy. You know, urban legends are like a kind of wish. Because... In reality... The least interesting answer... Is usually the correct one. <sighs> We won, somehow. Ugh. Hey, listen, little sis. Could you do me a favor and please stop controlling the main account for Blank with your feet? Kinda nasty. Hungry. I'm still hungry. Want some, Sora? Sure, why not? Mm. Mm. Really splurging on some fancy rations, huh, Shiro? Nutrition's important. Listen, the human brain can function as long as it has glucose. White bread is best in terms of cost performance. Yeah, thanks for the lecture. But I need other types of nutrients, too, or I won't get any bigger. You're already a perfect, flawless beauty, you darling girl. Mm. Hey, what time is it? Um, 8 a.m., the middle of the night. What day? Does even matter to me. It does! It tells me when the MMORPGs are going to have new events and... Whoa, what? Wait! I know you've been up for five days straight, but if you quit now, I won't have a healer! I know you can do it. You seriously think I can control four characters at one time? Just believe. Wait! No! Please don't fall asleep! If you go to sleep, Shiro, everyone, and by everyone, I mean me, will die! Uh, okay, fine, fine, I'll do it. I can take these suckers! This world is chaotic, unfair, and unforgiving. It has no meaning or value. However, some people simply refuse to accept this, even though they know they can't change anything. They wish that the world could be just a little more interesting. And that's how urban legends are formed, from wishes like that. Okay, so let's get things started. 
Let's offer a subtle stylistic catalyst for a chance at a new beginning. Let's ask the question, have you heard the latest rumor? Yeah. <sighs> Listen, your brother's been playing four characters on four separate screens. I don't know what you want, but I'm seriously about to drop dead here. It might be from a friend. <laughs> Whose friend? Your friend. <laughs> That's weird. I thought I heard my sister say something really mean and sarcastic to me. Huh? What is this? And how does this guy know that the two of us are siblings? What should we do? Is he trying to cut a deal with us? Well, it might be fun to see where this goes. Huh? Chess? Well, good night. <gasps> oh, wait, wait! Don't fall asleep yet! I can't handle a high-level chess simulation on my own! Chess is a finite, two-player, zero-sum, perfect information game. Luck plays no part in it. Theoretically, to each game, there is a perfect solution that will never fail. Of course, that's only if you have a mind capable of calculating the 10 to the power of 120 possible states of the board. Chess is no different than simply playing tic-tac-toe. That's right. Shiro has beaten a program designed to defeat Grandmasters 20 times in a row, alternating between going first and second. However... Uh, it cut off its own piece's advance. Hold on, uh, Shiro. What? A program will always select the best strategy. You can win because they're predictable. But this one's deliberately using a bad move to lure you in. It's a human. Don't worry, if it's a contest of skill, you got this in the bag. I'll tell you when they're up to something tricky. The two of us, Sora and Shiro, form two halves of a whole. Now let's see if there's somebody who's got the balls to beat us. There's no way to know the rules or how to win. Yet there are seven billion players all making whatever moves they want. If you lose too much or win too much, there are penalties. You can't pass your turn, and if you complain, people look down on you. There's no parameters or a freaking genre or anything. You know what you call that? You call it... A crappy game. game. <laughs> uh, believe me, if there's a world like that, then the two of us, well, we were born in the wrong one for sure. Uh. Huh? What the? Sora? <sighs> you know what? I think so too! Huh? In fact, it sounds like you two don't have any business living in this world at all! Uh. So how does this sound? How would you like a second chance to be made anew in the world in which you should have been born in the first place? Welcome to the world of my creation! Oh, what's going on? This is the ideal world you've always dreamed of! The world of games! It's this world! You see, everything in this world is decided by a simple game! Government, politics, even the lives of its people. Who are you? Me? They call me Tet. I live over here. I'm a god. A god? You're so short. That's not the time! We're gonna die! Try to stay focused, please. So everything here is decided by ten simple pledges. One, killing others, waging war, and stealing from people is strictly forbidden in this world. 
<laughs> Two, all conflicts, no matter how great or small, must be resolved through games. Three, before the games begin, each player must bet something that they agree is of equal value. Four, as long as it doesn't go against number three, what they bet and the rules of the game will not be questioned. Five, the challenged party has the right to determine the rules of the game. Six, all bets made in accordance with the pledges must be upheld. Seven, conflicts between groups will be overseen by appointed representatives with absolute authority. Eight, being caught cheating during a game results in an instant loss. And nine, in the name of Almighty God, that's me, the previous rules may never be altered. Okay, great, now would you shut up and save us? The group, the group, the group, the group! Zero! Number 10, let's all have fun and play together. <laughs> huh? Hey! I look forward to seeing you two again. I'm pretty sure it won't be long. Sora? Huh? Where are we? You know what, sis? Hmm? I always thought life was just a game for masochists and losers. And what happened? The game just crashed! Oh, what's going on? This, this game, game is total, total crap. crap! Long ago, in the far distant past, the gods, along with their families and creations, waged a seemingly never-ending war for the right to rule this world. They fought for the right to become the one true god. Eventually, it became clear there would be no real victor, as the sky, the sea, the land, and the stars were all destroyed in the devastating battles. However, hidden amongst the wreckage, a single deity had survived. Although he never participated in the conflict, the title became his. His name was Tet, and he was known as the God of Play. You creatures who have fought with violence, blood, and death? Who built a tower of corpses that rises to the sky and who still call yourselves wise? Tell me this, what makes you different from wild animals? In the face of their shattered world, excuses were meaningless. And God spoke, thou shalt not kill one another. Murder and thievery in this realm is henceforth forbidden. You sixteen races, full of greed and hubris, I command you to use your ingenuity and wit, your great fortunes and power, to build me a tower of knowledge, and to prove to me... Your strength of mind. Okay, I think I get it. So everything in this world is decided by games because the god of play is in charge? That's right. And by the way... Hmm? What now? Do you suppose you could find it in your heart to at least leave us a pair of pants? Uh, numero seis. Any bets made in accordance with the pledges must be upheld. So we bet everything we could offer, including our lives, and you in turn bet everything you had on you, which just so happened to include your pants. Okay, that's true, but still, you can't leave us here like this! <laughs> Let's go, Shiro. Ah! Please, double nothing! I can't go back to the village in my own fire! Uh, seems like even bandits can't rob or kill you. That's pretty convenient. Meh. I bet they couldn't even if they tried. Anyway, seems like everything comes down to your skill at the game. Hey, how about you speed this up? Would you shut up? I'm thinking here. I just need a second, okay? Yeah, you can think all you want, but it won't change your hand. A gambling tournament to decide the next king? It was the old king's dying wish. Apparently, he wanted the next ruler to be humanity's greatest gambler or something. Huh. So even the ruler is decided by a game. The red-headed girl is Stephanie Dola. She's the granddaughter of the former king. But because of his will, she can't inherit the throne. So she's entered the gambling tournament as well. Hmm? Hey, Shira. Are you, uh, doing okay? I'm good. 
What's the matter? Got a crush? Yeah, right. I was just wondering if you were going to enter this thing. Who, me? Oh, no, this is all I need right here, kiddo. And besides, Kurumi over there is so strong that most of the other players have already pulled out before they had the chance to lose. In other words, you're too scared to enter. What'd you say? So, as long as you don't actually lose to her, you can go home and tell all your friends whatever you want, am I right? Oh, I won because she was so pathetic, I let her hmm. go. Well, aren't you something? So let's play, little boy. Sorry, but I don't play for fun. You gotta put something on the line. Like that bag of cash. What? Do you know how much is in here? The deal is that we have to bet something of equal value, or it isn't official. Pledge three, right? I suppose that's fair. Mm. How's this? You can do whatever you want with the two of us. Our lives are yours. Uh, Sell us, leave us to die. Your choice. Uh, seriously? Why not? Well, uh, we'll play a single hand of poker. Uh, what do you say? I'd love to show one of the locals how it's done. Confident, huh? Better watch that mouth of yours. All right. Have it your way. I swear by the pledges. I swear by the pledges. I should be. <laughs> Just a stupid redneck kid with more confidence than experience. A bluff like that might work on the backwards adults in your village. But not here. Run into some bad luck? Poor baby. Yeah. I started the day with a 10,000 meter skydive, then walked forever under the blazing sun through some screwed up wilderness. Definitely a bad day. You did what now? Just forget I said anything. You ready? <laughs> ready? And waiting. How about you? Perhaps you'd like to draw cards again? No thanks, we're cool. Oh. In that case, too bad, kiddo! Full house Oh, you're right. That is too bad. Yep, and you just got really unlucky. Uh, but how? Pledge six. All bets must be upheld, am I right? So pay up. Uh, uh, just... Who are you people? Nobody special, just... A new player in town. Uh, 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 uh. Sora, that was mean. Could have at least tried to hide you were cheating. Well, let's review pledge number eight, shall we? Being caught cheating during a game means an instant loss. In other words, if you're not caught, it's fine. How much is in there? No clue. Well, just leave it to me. Big Bro is an expert at negotiations. I'll take a room. One bed will be just fine. How many nights would this get me? Just one night. <laughs> I'm really tired. Come on, dude. You gonna tell me how many nights I can really stay here? If you're trying to cheat someone, you should pay more attention to your tone and where you're looking at. Fine. Two nights, then. Man, you really are not good at this! Listen, Pierre. If you're gonna lie, you better be careful who you do it to. Okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, four nights. Awesome. Hey, kid. What's your name? Hmm? You can just leave it blank. Sorry for the wait, Shiro. That girl's about to lose it. No kidding. Doesn't look like anyone taught her what poker face means. Unlike her opponent... Hmm, she's cheating. Think so. Yeah. But how? It doesn't make sense. Now wait a minute. Something else is going on here. <laughs> Seriously? You can oh. fold whenever you want. You please shut up already! Just be quiet and focus on your own cards, all right? Uh, uh, finally! Uh. Listen, that girl is cheating. Uh. 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 Hey, 
You still playing or what? Huh? Oh, uh, yes, of course I am! Smartphones, DSPs, tablet PC. I got the battery and the solar charger, cables and everything. Is this it? Well, all things considered, after everything that happened today, I'd say we're lucky to have this much. I can't connect. Figures. This really is an honest-to-God fantasy world. And the way she was cheating, it was like its own fantasy, too. Sora, can you beat real magic? Mm. I guess that was a dumb question. Hey, Shiro. Usually, in, like, comics and stuff, when the main characters end up in another world, they try their best to find a way home, right? But why would they want to go back to a world if it's total... shit? It's settled. <laughs> Let the real game begin. Shiro, as your brother, I'm really happy that you love me so much, but let go of me for a second. Who's there? Come on, man. I paid up front already. Would it be okay if I came in for a second? We're gonna save the day? Sure, why not? It'll be fun, right? <laughs> 